guys it's patient patty today i'm giving you a life update i know it has been forever i am here in las vegas now living here i've been living here since september now it is december and i thought what a wonderful way to come back with a bang if i do vlogmas my vlogmas is going to be me posting every day well not every day in December. Mondays through Fridays. Because I missed you guys. And I'm trying to get to know you guys better and everything like that. Let's catch up. The last time I spoke to you guys, I was in New Mexico for business. <laughs> losing my mind. I was losing it. I had lost it. But I made it safely back to Philadelphia, and then the very next day, once I got home, I was back on a plane with my mom and my cat, Penny, <laughs> on my way to Vegas. I literally had to carry Penny over my shoulder through airport security. So I got on the plane and I landed here in Las Vegas at McCarran Airport. I was living out of two suitcases and a duffel bag and I was carrying all these through the airport plus Penny because he rode on the plane and I'll do a video later on about how to travel with the cat or any pet. But anyway, it was so crazy and Penny actually got loose in the airport. That was scary. Like my my heart literally dropped. I just got a lot of stares. Oh my God, look, that girl. Not one person tried to help me. And my mom trying to get my stuff and get Penny. This was completely the fault of the airport security in Philadelphia. They took apart his carrier and then they didn't put it back together the right way. So then when I got off the plane carrying the carrier, it fell apart, Penny got loose, ran under some slot machines. It was really, really crazy, but I'm just glad that I was able to catch him. But we got our luggage, we got on the shuttle, and we got a rental car from the McCarran Car Rental Port. So that was cool. Never take an Uber, Lyft, or a taxi from the McCarran Airport. So you will pay an extra $15 from whatever destination you're going to. If you try to take an Uber from the airport, you have to go all the way across the parking garage, all the way down this pathway to meet the Ubers in the Uber section. Instead, just save yourself some time, get on the shuttle to the McCarran car rental place, and then get your Uber from there. We went straight to my new apartment after we got the rental car, and I signed the paperwork, and I got the keys. I got the keys. But to be honest, the first week was actually super crazy. Money was tight. My things and my zippy shell, everything was two days late. And me and my mom slept on an air mattress for the first two days. I couldn't have done it all without the support of my mom, just having her here with me, just being there. And my mom actually stayed with me four or five-ish days before flying back. I love you, mom. P.O.P. holding it down. And then, once I was here alone after a couple of days, my J-O-B, also known as my job, they gave me a full week of paid time off, PTO, just to get settled. They knew this was a huge, major change for me, and I was really grateful for this time just to get myself together. I really did need that time just to get my mind right um, so I can go back to work um, in this new location just giving my best effort and putting my best foot forward. But then after a week and a half, I started back in my new office out here in Vegas. And there's actually two properties for my company in the Vegas area, but I'm working at one of these properties mainly. So my new co-workers are still mostly middle-aged men, and that's just the reality of working in technology. I mean it is, yeah. But this is a super cool team of people. One of the things that I actually love about working for this company is every IT or technology team, they just have such a family vibe. It's something that I really value and I really love about working with this company as a whole. I just feel totally embraced. And that's rare because I'm somebody who's younger, a woman, also I'm black, so there's not many black people either in this field. It's like people always seem to just really look out for me. I think that partly has to do with my work ethic. I really put my best foot forward and I work my ass off. Super helpful because soon after I moved here, the attack at Mandalay Bay happened and moving to a new area, it really shook me up 
to be honest, after that terrorist attack, I that night, I was packing up my stuff and I was ready to go home back to Pennsylvania. I didn't know how I was gonna get home, but I was leaving and I was not gonna be here. Just seeing how Vegas strong this area was, how people are so much more than just the strip and the casinos. There's really a large community of people that really pulled together for all the victims and people involved in terrorist attack. I mean, a majority of the victims were tourists. They weren't even from this area, but there was still an outpouring of people in the area just wanting to give blood and do fundraisers and get money together for the victims. Yeah, I got over that really quickly, my feeling of wanting to flee the area because there was so much love that in response to the terrorist attack. This is the first time I've lived out of the state of Pennsylvania. I was homesick a lot of the days and I didn't actually have my car shipped right away. I can't believe that for probably the first a month or a little less than a month, I depended on taking Uber everywhere, everywhere. It was scary and new, but God made a way. I mean, he gave me the wonderful opportunity to come out here and to work and just have the means, and he continued to bless me along this whole process. And if there's anybody out there who's thinking about moving somewhere far away on their own or to Vegas, I say do it. The personal growth that you go through, doing such a major thing, it's priceless. And yeah, so now here I am in Vegas, living my life. Like it's golden, living my life. I'm sure you guys are wondering, what have things been like since I've moved here? I have joined a new church. I made a couple friends, but not many. My main priority is always work. Work first. I got back on Bumble, <laughs> not for long. Oh, and I tried Bumble BFF. Video coming soon about those Bumble experiences out here in the new Las Vegas arena. Also, exciting news, I lost more weight. So back in PA, I was around 172 pounds. Now on a good day, I'm about 161. So that's pretty um, amazing and I'm real happy about that. Once I started working out consistently, eating better, um, just having a happier mentality, I became happier. Two videos ago, I believe, I was truly going through it. I was trying so hard just to fight through depression and anxiety and just how to, just trying to deal with failed relationships in my life. When I do look at that video, I do see, even though I was truly going through it, I was trying to be so positive and I was feeding those positive words into my life. Even though I didn't feel it on the inside, I kept on repeating them and that truly helped me. So if anyone else is in a, just a place like that, I definitely um, recommend do the same thing. Even though things may not be going fully great around you, you have to create your own happiness, honestly. If you have a good attitude, it can truly change like your entire world. Be your own um, advocate, be your biggest fan. You'll notice that when you don't depend on others or outside things to uplift you except God of course that's all you need those are the things that can truly get you to a great place but yeah that's the update sorry for the wait but I'm back I moved to Vegas you can too now I'm just so excited to share more videos share more content vlogmas <laughs> why did I do that why did I do that why did I do that Oh God. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and comment, and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye.